I'm not gonna lie here, the power of makeup is a beautiful thing, you know? It really is. But do you know what's even more powerful than makeup? Self-confidence, self-respect, and just believing when you walk out that door every single day that you are a beautiful human being and you deserve nothing but respect, kindness, and that's pretty much it, okay? That's all I'm saying, dude. Okay? No, if someone doesn't give you that, slap them in the face. Today, guys, we're going to be looking at some makeup transformations, uh, hence why it's called the power of makeup. Now, guys, before we hop into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to Sean Mendes Fan. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sean Mendes Fan, for watching my Trisha Paytas video that I posted yesterday, showing love to the channel. And, yo, boy, you're amazing. Thank you so much. And let go. Here we go. Dude, she's gorgeous even without makeup, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, she she kind of fine, bro. <laughs> like, to be honest, though. Like, dude, you already bad, girl. Like, damn, I don't even want to know what the makeup do. Snap. I see you in makeup. I mean, need to snatch you up. Whoa! <laughs> That's what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about. Wait, why is she so, why, why is she like so shocked? Is that the first time she ever wore makeup? <laughs> wow, she's gorgeous. She's so gorgeous, bro. Look at, look at the smiles, bro. She just got so much confidence now, you can see, bro. Oh, snap, mamacita. Ooh, you fine. She's gorgeous, bro. All right, here we go, here we go. Dude, girl, you don't need the makeup. You don't need the makeup, look at you. You look like a damn star in the midnight sky. You already gleaming. You already gleaming, girl. Oh, snap. Damn, you shining bright like a diamond. She shining bright like a diamond, dude. I, I love seeing their reaction after they're wearing makeup. I don't know why. Like, they, they just gain so much confidence, so much, uh, you know, self-esteem. I, I don't know. <laughs> but, like, I just like seeing their reaction of, like, happiness, you know? I like to see other people happy, dude, believe it or not. I'm not one of those channels who just likes to make everybody feel bad about themselves. All right, all right, girl. Dude, she has beautiful eyes. Damn, girl, like your eyes. Wow. Yo, it, it, ha it so happens to be I'm into blondes. I'm just saying, blondes are my favorite. I don't know why, dude. They've they've always been my favorite. Oh wow, dude, she is fun, bro. Snap. You lucky I ain't single. You lucky I ain't single because I'd be in those DMs. <laughs> <I'm just joking. laughs> Alright. She's beautiful, man. Is she crying, bro? No, don't. Dude, don't cry, bro. Don't cry, bro. Don't cry. Dude, she's bad, bro. Like, you can tell she's bad, though. She had a little, like, burn mark or something by her eye, right? I, I kind of want to know what her story is, but... You know, everything... It can be a very personal thing. She's still gorgeous, I think. Like, it's hardly nothing, dude. She's a little bit of a scar or whatever, but it's, like, literally nothing. Actually, I'm going to tell you guys a fun fact. Um, so... When, uh, believe it or not, before I was a YouTuber, you know, I worked a regular job. I worked multiple regular jobs. I didn't grow up wealthy or anything with, like, wealthy parents or anything. Believe it or not, I've been working since the age of, like, 13. Um, so I've worked plenty and plenty of jobs. But I used to work at this one restaurant called Red Robin. And um, this one girl, she had a scar on her cheek or something like that, right? And when I was working there, I asked her what happened. And she literally flipped donkers at me dog like I asked her what happened but like I didn't say it in a rude way or anything and she flipped out she asked for the manager she was like this guy's the rudest guy ever asking me what's on my face yada 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 and then and then um 
the manager, he didn't really care. I mean, he, he basically apologized and said, I'm sorry. And then she stormed out of the restaurant and whatnot. But like, he basically told me like, maybe I shouldn't, you know, say that to people and whatnot. Uh, but he wasn't upset at me at all. Like, cause like, I wasn't, tr I didn't say it in a rude way, dude. I mean, not even to mention the girl who I said it to, she was kind of fine, bro. Like, I'm gonna keep it real. And like, but she just thought it was so rude how I brought it up to her. Uh, but now that I look back, I was only about 17 or 18 and I kind of do regret saying that like it, it, Now that I think about it. It probably was a little out of line and a little bit disrespectful But I was genuinely just curious of what happened like when I see people with scars and stuff. I, I I'm just super curious of how they got that scar I mean, I have a pretty bad scar on my wrist and anytime someone brings it out or something I always let them know like I don't know, dude. I've always been like that, but still to this day, I regret asking her what was on her face or how she got that scar because it, I know she got really hurt over me asking that and it just, it still kind of hurts me that like, you know, that she got that offended by it and that hurt from it. So I, I don't know, man. Oh, bro, she bad, bro. Oh, dude, that's what I call a mama, dude. Yo, mama, Sita was good. Oh, snap, mommy. Oh, snap. Yo. She bad, bro. Yo, she's super fine. Yo. Whoa, grandma. Oh, don't make me come over for cookies now. <laughs> Damn, dude. Wasn't the grandma already wearing makeup or is she just that beautiful, dude? I'm joking, everyone's beautiful. But dude, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm really into like older women and I don't know why. I've always been like this my whole life. <laughs> no, not like grandma ages, but like 30, 35. Those are my favorite ages. If Fun fact about me, like when it comes to women, 30, 35 are my favorite ages. I, I don't know why. I've, ever since I was a kid, it's just like, if I see like a really fine 30, 35 year old, like I'm just like, snap, dude. I, I don't know why, bro. Dude, this grandma bad, bro. Oh, snap. Oh, she looking like Halsey, bro. She's gorgeous, bro. Oh, snap, dude. She's so gorgeous. He, even the grandson gave her a kiss. <laughs> oh, I'm joking. That sounds wrong. That sounds so wrong. I'm sorry for saying that. Well, anyway, ladies and gents, boys and girls, that's actually going to wrap up the video right there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, I didn't pause it too much because that's one thing on my channel a lot of people hate me doing all the time is pausing the video. So I'm really trying lately not to pause the video as much. So I really hope you guys did enjoy today's video. And if you guys did, make sure you guys smash that like button for your book. And make sure you guys also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links are down below. And uh, tell me what you guys think about makeup. Do you guys use makeup? Do you think it makes someone uh, more beautiful as a person? Obviously, as a person, it doesn't squat nothing. I mean, I think makeup is beautiful in the fact that it makes girls feel good. Um, because I feel like at the end of the day, um, for a girl to be beautiful, she needs to feel good in her own skin. And, you know, if you're not feeling good in your own skin, then you're already going to give off the vibe that you're not confident, which is going to make people like feel like you're not good enough for something you know so at the end of the day i think it's all about confidence here if makeup makes you feel confident keep wearing it keep doing your thing uh but if you feel confident in your own skin without makeup do you like you know what i'm saying at the end of the day all that matters is your happiness and as long as you are happy with what you look like that's all that matters peace oh, baby, you